Man, they've really milked this premise for all it's worth, haven't they? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that ripped off Die Hard. Just the man I was looking for. This building is protecting something that I want. You're going to get it for me. Anything can be done with the proper motivation. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at films that blatantly ripped off the premise of a man forced to fight off a threat in an enclosed location. Number 10, Passenger 57. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid your in-flight entertainment program has been canceled. Also known as Die Hard on a Plane, Passenger 57 stars Wesley Snipes as John Cutter, a man who's forced to defend an airplane from terrorists. Not only is the concept itself a ripoff, but also many of the movie's plot points borrow, and we use that term loosely, from Die Hard. Cutter is in the bathroom when the terrorists take over, just like John McClane. An authority figure, in this case Chief Leonard Biggs, stands in the hero's way for part of the movie. The big bad is an intelligent, articulate man who also happens to fall to his death. We could go on, but we're pressed for time. <laughs> Number 9. Sudden Death Oh, gross! I have some work to do. I'll be back before the period ends. AKA Die Hard in a Hockey Arena. Man, they were really desperate. In this movie, action star Jean-Claude Van Damme stars as Darren McCord, a fire marshal and security guard at the Pittsburgh Civic Arena. While attending Game 7 of the playoffs with his children, McCord realizes that an ex-CIA operative turned terrorist is holding the vice president hostage in the arena's luxury suite. It's Jean-Claude Van Damme. Were you expecting high art? I can't let you do that. I can't let you do it. I'm having a real bad day. Like Die Hard, the arena is wired with explosives, a family member is kidnapped, a standoff between police and terrorists occurs, and McCord takes out the bad guys one by one from within. Listen to me. Listen good. If you touch her, you look at her cross side, you lose. <laughs> How do you figure that, fireman? Number eight, Olympus has fallen. Sir, there's been an intrusion. Please stand up. Let's go, move. Yeah. AKA Die Hard in the White House. Olympus Has Fallen takes many cues from Die Hard, including its premise, which sees North Korea assaulting the White House and keeping the president captive in the bunker. Mike Banning and his allies must then take out the terrorists one by one while attempting to save the president. The movie was criticized upon release for its unoriginality, with many critics noting its blatant similarities to Die Hard in terms of story and style. And to make matters worse, a movie with basically the exact same premise called White House Down was released not three months later. We're gonna find her. But you have got to get the president to safety, okay? Number seven, Con Air. Welcome to Con Air. AKA Die Hard on a Plane again. So does that make Con Air a ripoff of both Die Hard and Passenger 57? Con Air, as the rather goofy title suggests, sees violent prisoners overtaking a prison transport aircraft. One man, an honorably discharged army ranger and manslaughter convict, tries to foil a prisoner's plans of flying to a non-extradition country. Put the bunny back in the box. Throughout the movie, the hero battles and outwits the prisoners, while forming a close bond with an authority figure who he attempts to aid throughout the crisis. Unlike Die Hard, Con Air is extremely over-the-top and bombastic, but it still flies a little too close for our tastes. We have a traitor in our midst. Number six, The Raid. The Raid is an admittedly great martial arts film that sees an elite police squad storming and fighting their way through a high-rise building to reach the crime lord comfortably situated at the top. This premise would be borrowed for the Dread remake, although that movie kicked a lot of ass too. In The Raid, the police officers are brutally attacked by the crime lord's henchmen, and with no outside help, are subsequently trapped in the apartment complex and forced to defend themselves from the violent goons. However, the sheer technicality of the martial arts action allows us to look past its rather unoriginal premise. Tugas kita sederhana. Kita masuk, tangkap dan seret dia keluar. Number five, cliffhanger. If you want me, I'm in here. Well, we didn't think we'd ever say the words "die hard on a mountain," but cliffhanger sees to that. Cliffhanger stars everyone's favorite action hero, Sylvester Stallone, who stars alongside John Lithgow and Michael Rooker. The story sees Stallone and his allies attempting to stop a former military operative and U.S. Treasury agent from locating lost suitcases full of money. 
Like Die Hard, Cliffhanger sees the flawed Gabe taking out the operative's henchmen one by one, and constantly foiling his plans. Only in this movie, it's on a freaking mountain rather than a skyscraper. Get back! Go, Jesse, run! <sighs> Number four, The Rock. Can you do something about it? Like what? Kill him again? The Rock is Die Hard on The Rock, San Francisco's famous Alcatraz Island. The story sees rogue marines storming Alcatraz, taking its tourists hostage and threatening to blow the city up unless they're paid $100 million. The authorities send in Nicolas Cage's Stanley Goodspeed and Sean Connery's John Mason to foil the Marines' plans. The two then navigate through Alcatraz, taking out men and disarming bombs along the way. While it borrows heavily from Die Hard, it nevertheless received positive reviews and is one of the few Michael Bay productions to hold a fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. How do you like your choices? I don't. Number three. Air Force One. No matter what happens, we land this aircraft. Is that understood? Man, they really milked the Die Hard on a plane concept in the 90s, didn't they? Air Force One stars the always awesome Harrison Ford as President James Marshall as he fights off terrorists inside his very own presidential aircraft. The movie contains your typical Die Hard tropes, like the good guy wandering around the plane while killing bad guys and the good guy making contact and receiving assistance from an outside source, in this case, the vice president. He's gonna want a glass of milk. And while it is riddled with cliches, it's still great pulpy entertainment and one of Harrison Ford's greatest modern-ish roles. Get off my plane. Number two, Speed. 50, stay above 50. Die Hard was such a big hit that many producers wanted to replicate its concept and ingredients for their own success, as we've established. The 90s seemed to be a bid as to who could offer the most violence, the most fun, and the most cramped conditions. We think Speed has the meat in the latter department. Speed stars Keanu Reeves as Jack Traven, a SWAT officer who must prevent a city bus from exploding by keeping it over 50 miles per hour. Yeah, Jack, five minutes. The storyline is certainly original, but it still contains very die-hardy elements, such as the hero enclosed in a cramped and explosives riddled location while trading barbs with the villain via radio. I thought it was customary for a police officer to, you know, shoot the bad guys, huh? Number one. Under Siege. Come on, that's not striking officer. It's striking officer. While there were plenty of diehard imitators throughout the 90s, none was as shamelessly blatant about it as Steven Seagal's Under Siege. I'm just a cook. A cook? Seagal stars as a ship cook who's locked in the freezer while a band of commandos storms the ship. Like Die Hard, the commandos then keep the hostages in an enclosed location. The hero maintains contact with an outside source while methodically taking out the bad guys. And a helicopter meant to save the day is blown up by the villains in a shocking and dramatic twist. And while Under Siege was well received, critics have noted its blatant similarities to Die Hard and labeled it Die Hard on a Battleship. Negative. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.